This is Larry, and I'm going to send you an email link where you can, all you have to do is email this address right here, and I will send you an individual email to you personally, not to your parents, not to your brothers and sisters, but just for you. And if you're just turning four and haven't been in my class yet, please send me an email. And uh, this is, most of you guys are familiar with Larry the Cucumber Puppet. And you notice he has to wear a mask just like the rest of you. So I will send an email to you if you send it to me. And this is Miss Sam. Welcome to Wiggle and Learn. We are so excited to learn today's Bible story with you. That's right. Now last week we learned about a man named Isaiah. Now do you remember was he a judge, a king, or a prophet? He was a prophet. Isaiah had a special message for God's people. He told them what was going to happen. That's right. He told them about the Messiah who is going to come. You see, the Messiah is Jesus, God's son. God was going to send his son to rescue us from our sins. Now, Sam, do you know what time it is? I do. It's time to review our big picture question. Here we go. Let's go to our big picture question. It says, how many gods are there? There is one true God. Now it's time to get our wiggles out. All right, boys and girls, it's time to stand on up. Let's get our wiggles out. Can you wiggle your hands over here? How about on this side? Can you wiggle your elbows? How about your fingers? Can you go as fast as you can? Woo! Oh, good <laughs> job, everyone. Okay, now, can you put one hand up? Put your other hand up. Reach as high as you can. And let's sit down crisscross applesauce as we learn more about our Bible story for today. Okay, boys and girls, do you know what time it is? I think it's time to look for our Bible story clue. Where should Miss Allegra look? Can you help me find it? I don't see it anywhere. Do you see it? What was that? It's behind me. You're right. Look, it's on the TV screen. Do you know what it is? It's a mailbox. Now, what gets put into a mailbox? Mail and messages. That reminds me how Isaiah is a messenger for God. Okay, boys and girls, let's see what our three things are to look for in our video today. Number one was who was the prophet who told about the Messiah who was going to come. Number two was how did the Messiah look? Do you think the Messiah was as tall as Miss Allegra? I don't know, but we're going to find out. And number three was, did the Messiah do anything wrong to be punished for? Okay, let's look for our three things in our video. Are your listening gears on nice and tight? Good, let's count down with me. Here we go. Three, two, one. 
Hey there, I'm Megan. And I'm Jessie. Why are you wearing sunglasses today, Jessie? Because my future is so bright. I gotta wear shades. Wanna know why? <laughs> why? Why is your future looking bright, Jessie? For our next vacation, my family is gonna visit the factory that makes the largest pancakes in the world. Yum! I can't wait for some pancakes covered in gravy. <laughs> when are you taking this trip? Well, it's gonna be a long time before we go, but my mom wrote it on our calendar for next year. That's great, Jesse. In today's Bible story, Isaiah wrote about something that would happen in the future too. What Isaiah wrote about is the most important thing that has ever happened or will ever happen. Whoa, what did Isaiah write about? Listen to our Bible story to find out. Isaiah was a prophet. He gave the people of God special messages from God about what was going to happen in the future. Isaiah said that God had a plan to send someone, the Messiah, to rescue people from sin. The Messiah would be a servant of God. Isaiah said, God's servant grew up and he looked very ordinary. No one paid attention to him and they did not want to be his friend. They stayed away from him. God's servant hurt. Isaiah said that people saw God's servant, but they looked the other way. They did not care about him or love him. But God's servant still did what God wanted him to do. He came to help people and save them from sin. The servant was punished. People thought that he was punished because he had done something wrong, but he did not do anything wrong. We were supposed to be punished, but instead of punishing us, God punished him. Then Isaiah said that the Messiah was hurt and treated badly. But he did not say anything, Isaiah explained. People were unfair to him and they took him away. He was treated like a criminal, but he is not a criminal. But even though bad people did this to God's servant, God planned this. When the servant died, he took away people's guilt so God could look at them and say, not guilty. God even said, you're good. God's servant did not stay dead. God brought him back to life. God's good servant will see all the people he saved and he will be happy. Then God will give him a reward, Isaiah said. God will give him honor for doing the right thing and for saving people from sin. God will welcome his friends who once walked away from him. God's servant Isaiah wrote about Jesus. God planned all along that Jesus would die on the cross for our sin. Many years before Jesus was born, Isaiah wrote these words. Jesus is the servant who died to save people from sin. I loved learning more about Isaiah together. Okay, what were the three things I asked you before our video? Number one was who was the prophet who told about the Messiah who is going to come? What do you think? That's right, it's Isaiah. Can you say that with me? Isaiah. And number two was how did the Messiah look? Was he super tall like Miss Allegra? No, the Messiah was ordinary. He looked just like you and me. And number three was, did the Messiah, Jesus, do anything wrong to be punished for? No. Can you shake your head no with me? Say no. Yes, God punished him. He took our place to rescue you and to rescue me from our sins. Now, boys and girls, are you ready to do our memory verse together? Let's go. Okay, let's stand on up and do our memory verse together. Can you put your Bible hands out like this? Here we go. In the past, God spoke through the prophets. But in these last days, he has spoken to us 
by his son. Hebrews 1, 1 through 2. Let's do that one more time. Here we go. In the past, God spoke through the prophets. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Hebrews 1, 1 through 2. Great job, boys and girls. On the count of three, can you give me a high five? Ready? One, two, three. High five. Let's get ready to pray. Can you put your hands out? Wiggle those fingers. Let's sing our song together. Open and shut them. Open and shut them. Give them a little clap, clap, clap. Open and shut them. Open and shut them. Fold them in your lap. Lap, lap. Dear God, thank you for sending your son Jesus, the Messiah, to rescue us from our sins. Help us to trust in you. We ask all of these things and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Boys and girls, do you hear that sound? Could it be the drum roll? You know what time it is. It's time to stand on up and let's get ready to worship together. is about how God transforms us. Let's get ready to worship together.
song is one of my favorites. Can you say hallelujah? Great job. Let's get ready to sing this next song together. Jesus is a rock. He's a goodbye song. On the count of three, let's see your big alligator snap. One, two, three.
We had such an awesome time together learning more about Isaiah and how much Jesus loves us. We have our Family Connect time for you to do another activity and craft to review today's Bible story. We hope to see you next week. Goodbye.